I do want to make a quick comment on the relationship between these two things and give you a really critical counter example to, well, you'll see what I mean. Okay. So here's the, um, here's the important idea you need to get, right? A converse, a converse <laughs> is a shoe brain, uh, but it, in geometry and with regard to like the properties of, you know, sh shapes or a particular kind of curve or something like that, the converse of a theorem is, um, you know, saying that the reverse of something, the opposite statement, like the statement view from the other side is true. So the most famous converse that we use and work with is this guy. If I tell you this is a right angle triangle, okay, and then we label the sides in such and such a way, then the statement that would come to mind immediately for you guys is A squared, a squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? So this is Pythagoras' theorem that the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides in a right angle triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle. So that's fine, okay? Now the converse is to view this the other way around. Rather than to start with a right angle triangle and some sides and then conclude this, okay? It's to go rather than this way, which is Pythagoras' theorem, okay? It's to go in the opposite direction and to say, if you have a triangle and you happen to know that it's sides related in this way, like you measure them out and then you square these guys, you add them, you square this guy, and you end up with the same result, okay? On the basis of saying this, you can therefore conclude what was the premise for Pythagoras' theorem, namely that there is in fact a right angle, okay? So to go from this relationship in science to a right angle is, is not Pythagoras' theorem. It's the converse of Pythagoras' theorem, okay? Now, this is exactly the way that properties and tests relate to each other, okay? So, here's the example. Um, draw for me a rectangle. Draw for me a rectangle. Okay. <clears throat> now, a rectangle, one of the, like, the most obvious thing that jumps out to me when I see a rectangle um, is, well, there are many special things about it. It's one of the most special quadrilaterals out there. But for me, the obvious thing is, okay, I see four right angles, right? Like when I, if I see a bunch of shapes, the, the thing that immediately my mind, my eye goes to is, okay, I see the angles, bam, it's a rectangle, okay? So it is a property. It's a property of a rectangle, right? To say a rectangle, has four right angles. Okay, we know this to be true. But to think of this in the opposite direction, to think of the converse, makes this no longer a property, but what we call a test, and you'll see why. Right? The converse of this is to say this in reverse. Okay, If, rather than saying going in this direction, you know this, Therefore, you can deduce this, right, or you can state it. I want to go in the opposite direction. So if I have four right angles, right, a quadrilateral with four right angles, if you know this to be true, then you can also say the opposite thing, which is that it must be, quadrilateral must be a rectangle. There's no choice. It can't possibly be anything else. I mean, you could say, oh, it's going to be a square. But all squares are types of rectangles. They are rectangles where the two opposite sides pairs are equal to each other. Bam, there's your square. Okay. So it's important that you understand that properties and tests are applications of this, right? And so, man. It's important you understand the relationship between these because understanding these allows you to test for these. Okay. 